All right, so today I wanted to show you guys some uh, baby monitors that are hatching right now, which would be quince monitors or Varanus melinus. Uh, they're a species, an Indonesian species of monitor within the Indicus complex, which is basically the mangrove monitor complex. Uh, my phone's on auto zoom right now, so it's doing some funky stuff. Um, but yeah, it's basically the mangrove monitor complex. Uh, these guys actually were recently um, listed as an endangered species. You can see here, it's kind of the first baby out. Excuse the reflection, there's a lot of sun in this room. So these guys are not often bred in captivity. Um, really cool species of lizard. They're also called like a yellow monitor. And like most of the Indicus complex, they'll go through a bit of a color change. So they start out really black like this. But then as they grow, they'll get more, uh, more yellow will come in. And these guys are kind of like most of the species within the complex. Uh, they're like semi arboreal, aquatic, terrestrial. They use kind of whatever you give them. Um, the parents to these ones live in here. I was hoping they'd be up, out and about, but they're, uh, I think they're both laying on the ground there. So. And then you can see here, we got two more little babies that have not come out of the. I don't even know how I can avoid this reflection, but. Another one right here. And so these guys take anywhere from 190 to 200 days to hatch. So it's quite a long incubation. Let's see if I can get one out at a time here and not lose any. Take this auto zoom off of here. Maybe not. I don't know. But awesome little guy. I'm honestly surprised it hasn't tried to bite me yet. Uh, these little Molinus babies usually don't hesitate to bite. Yeah, I can't turn this auto zoom thing off. They're really pretty. And like I said, as they age, all of this black will break up and turn to more, uh, almost more of like a netted pattern and then all the yellow will come in. And this baby just looking at it, kind of resembles a male. These babies aren't quite as easy to sex as like Brannus indicus, which is like the true mangrove monitor. There we go. There's another one. The one thing I like about the quince babies though is they are a lot more variable when they hatch in terms of like their patterns. This one looks actually more like it could be a female. And most of these lizards within the Indicus complex I find once they start laying eggs they'll usually lay eggs every three months. So they can be quite prolific, which is funny because 
looking on the Red List website, you know, it says that they typically will lay two to three clutches a year, uh, which I have not found to be the case. But really pretty little monitors. And then I'll show you guys. So here's an egg. They come out a pretty good size egg. And they just, like with anything, they got an egg tooth and they just slice it open. But real clean, like there, there's nothing inside these eggs. see here this one all day has kind of had its head in and out of the egg and then another egg here this one's yet to pip and I'm not bothered about taking them out of the incubator like at this stage because they're literally about to hatch not to mention uh, this room is almost the temperature that I incubate them at. And so these guys, incubation, like I said, anywhere from 190, 200 days. Uh, I incubate them at 85 degrees straight. I don't change the temperature, anything like that. Uh, yeah, this reflection is terrible. I kind of just wanted to film it here because uh, you can get an idea of behind me what I house the adults in. And I actually have holdbacks that I'm growing up, uh, an unrelated pair that I produced. The female came from a different pair uh, and then the male came from this pair. So it'll be nice to make some second generation captive bred from unrelated parents. And then I've actually, I've also got two babies left from the previous clutch. And those ones are crazy, like, as soon as you open that cage door, they're climbing all over you, jumping on you. Uh, completely different than any of the other monitors I've got. If you're interested, uh, I'm selling the babies for a thousand bucks. But really cool. Uh, they do get quite large. Like I said, I was hoping that the adults, oh yeah, you can kind of see right there, is the male. Maybe he's going to climb, maybe not. Uh, but to give you some size reference, this cage is 8 feet long, 4 feet front to back, and then 7 foot tall. And it's enough space for them, like I wouldn't go much smaller. They've got a three foot by two foot pond on this side. Uh, on the other side, under that leaf there, uh, is the nest box, which is one of those big black totes from Home Depot. And then I've just got two stacked within each other, and then in between there's a heat pad. Uh, and then inside it's just a sand peat moss mix. And they usually lay the eggs in around 85 degrees. Uh, actually, the male, I can see, is harassing the female right now. Um, yeah. These guys, I typically keep all my Indicus Complex stuff anywhere. It sits around 80 degrees, and then the basking spots are around 125, and then it fluctuates from there, right? The floor is about 80 degrees. As you go up, obviously, the temperature increases, uh, and then as you get closer to the lights, it increases. As you get kind of further away, it decreases. So the ambient is anywhere between 80 and 90, and the basking is about 125. Uh, when I have two lizards in here, there's two basking lights up here, two basking lights over here, and then in the center portion, I can slide a divider in. And then that way when the female's nesting, I just put the divider in so that the male doesn't bother her or go and eat the eggs. And then after she lays two, she's quite aggressive and food driven. 
so then that way I can feed her up really good for like two weeks at till up two weeks after she lays the eggs, and then at that point I pull the divider out, let them back at each other, uh, and they usually get on pretty well. Oh no. Maybe they'll come check things out if I open this. They're not really in the mood today. They don't seem to want to be bothered with anything. Right Yeah, they get pretty big, like this male is, he's not quite five feet, but uh, he's well over four foot, that's for sure. And the females are significantly smaller, uh, they're about three feet. I fed them really well yesterday, so they're really not wanting anything to do with me today. Typically they're quite food driven and aggressive. Um, oh, this baby's got its head out again, maybe. You can see. I'm just kind of dragging this out because I really want that male to climb up so you can see him. Hard to see, but that baby's got its nose out again. All day it's kind of, you know, they usually, after they pip, they'll spend half the day poking their face in and out of the egg. And like most monitors, um, these guys are eating anything protein based. Like I feed them a lot of chicks. I feed them, it's like burger patties made out of ground up quail. I feed them hard boiled eggs, fish, um, like the whole shrimps, mice. Uh, if I have any snakes that are born that are, you know, still born, I feed them those, they really like them. Just waiting, I can see them kind of climbing up here. Maybe we'll get a bit of a glimpse. But as you can tell, it's a you know a big lizard. Huh. I'll try this. So that's him there. The female's kind of tucked in behind the plant. But really beautiful lizard. You can, the quince compared to like the indicus, like the typical mangroves, uh, the quince are a lot easier to tame, I find. But as you can see, right, like that's seven feet top to bottom. Um, and you know, it's a good sized lizard. But yeah, anyway, dragging this out. Uh, so there you have it. Quince monitors, Varanus melinus. And uh, I should have some more monitors hatch in the next few days here.